there YouTube, it's the goat back. I'm going to show you some cool new stuff to protect those lenses inside your PSVR headset. Now I know one thing that's going to happen, whether you like it or not, at some point you're going to get some tiny micro scratches across your lenses. Now I don't know if you can see, I've got one or two, I take relatively good care of mine. And even there, I've got a few small little scratches on the lenses. Now, they don't actually affect in headset gameplay at all they don't they don't change anything but obviously you don't want them to start getting to a stage where that might happen and there's a few things you can do now first of all I ditched the cloth that you're supposed to use to wipe the headset with and went with one of these now this is a lens pen these are what photographers use to clean the lenses on their really expensive cameras now it comes with a brush let's get it out and you just brush the lenses down brush all of the like big gunk off, all of the dust particles, all the stuff like that. And the other end is actually hidden away in this cap. Just open it. It's quite hard to do one handed, but there we go. And then on this side, you can see it, it's like a concave um, shaped sort of duster and that actually sucks up all of the gunk and makes the lenses really, really clear. Most importantly, without scratching them. Now, I would always suggest be careful of where you get your lens pens from because knockoff lens pens can actually damage your lenses and you've got to be pretty careful with how you use them. There's some great instruction videos already on YouTube for stuff like that. All I would say is if you don't have a lens pen and you've got a PSVR headset, go get one. This is the best way to clean your headset by some way. Now, I'm taking it a step further today. I've actually picked up something from VR Lens Lab. Now, they're actually a company based in Thailand. And what they do is they specialise in prescription lenses for things like the Oculus and the Rift. Uh, for, sorry, for the Oculus Rift and the Vive. And they have one product for the PSVR that's worth mentioning, and that's these. Now these are actually lens covers. You can see here in transit, um, the rubber band around them has been broken. But that's absolutely okay, because with them... You get a whole bunch of replacement ones. Now this suction cup is actually what you're supposed to use to help take the lenses out once you put them into the headset itself. And I'm going to show you just how to put these lenses in. Now one thing I'm going to actually put on before I do any of this, because I really don't want to get any fingerprint smudges on these in any way, shape or form. I've got some gloves. An important thing on the gloves here, powder free. <laughs> you don't want to go to all this trouble of cleaning your lenses, getting them all nice and in pristine condition and then go and wear some powder covered gloves and just cover them in talc because all that's going to lead to is like scratches and obstacles when you're trying to look through and stuff it's just no powder free powder free gloves everybody all right two seconds i'm going to put them on change out the rubber bands on my contained lenses and i'll fit them to my headset so you can see now i've actually got this oh, lens here let's zoom out a bit so I've got the lens, I've put the rubber band all the way around it, and that just helps hold it in place. And literally, you just get it the right way around, which you can see it's got the same shape as the actual lenses in the headset itself. And it just goes over the top, and just fits nicely over the top, and you just press it, and it'll click in place. Ever so gently. And that's it. That's one done. And I'm going to get the other one. And just do the same thing again, so just gently get it over the top. Oh, sorry, it's quite hard to do with my offhand. And then it'll just click in, and that's it. Job done. Now, if for whatever reason, say you're not happy with it, you want to take them out, or if you get a new headset, um, like you upgrade to the, uh, the second version of the PSVR, you just get your little suction cup and just stick it over the top and it just lifts the lens straight out no bother at all and that's all there is to it now I'm going to put in the link um, to the description, sorry I'll put in the description a link to where I actually got these from and um, they retailed for about 30 quid took a couple of weeks to get over here to the UK but you know 30 quid might sound like a lot but it's cheaper to replace these lenses if they ever get broken than it is to replace a whole headset unit and not only that 
you know these actually have some very good anti-scratch coating and it's it's like much better stuff to use than the glass that you get with a with a playstation it's, it's just going to be so much better anyway thanks very much for watching i'm the goat and in case you're wondering there's space cat she's right here i'm gonna wrap this up before she gets a chance to headbutt my lenses thanks very much so I'm just going to show you a little bit of game footage whilst I talk a bit about the results of these lens protectors. So I've got them fitted to the headset, I've been playing a few games, and there's a few cool things that they have. And one of the coatings they've got is like Blue Guard. Now Blue Guard actually filters some of the uh, blue light out of displays. Uh, supposedly it's just low level blue light that can damage your eyes over time. But it actually helps to tweak the contrast a little bit. <laughs> it really does make a bit of a difference. It's a bit crazy. I wasn't expecting it to make any kind of difference, but things do look a little bit nicer. It's almost like the effect you get with um, the M cable to a degree. It's not as amazing as the M cable because obviously it's not doing any graphical processing in the background, but it does just make a nice little subtle difference. So it helps make things look a little bit clearer. And the other cool thing is the coating is anti-static and um, super hydro hydrophobic. It basically means it's hard to get muck stuck to it and on the off chance you do manage to get some gunk or stuff stuck to it it's dead easy to clean off. Thanks very much for watching. I'm the goat. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.